Hello guys. So I wanted to make a video um, regarding how to boot from the USB. I've realized that my shots that I made has been the most watched um, shots when it comes to the topic about booting from USB. So I decided to do a whole fresh installation with you guys. Okay, so I got this, um, let me open it first. It's a Dell, it's a Dell Macro PC. It's a, one of those Optiplex. This is Optiplex 3060 um, desktop, okay? This is a really nice PC. I got three of them for $200 on eBay, but they don't have drives, okay? Because I know how to program them, so there's no need to buy with drives too expensive. So, so I have an SSD, which there is, there might be something in there, but I'll format it so that we can do the process together. And so if you have any challenges, I'm gonna address all the difficulties that you might come along um, when trying to boot from what? USB. So first, let me open this computer app so that we can connect the SSD drive. So we're doing that right now. You can see this is easy so you just connect the drive connect the drive to it Same for this one as well. Okay, see, then you connect it into the PC. So for the guy that had a virus that is making it harder for him to perform recovery, I am suggesting to him to open up the PC, take out the hard drive, and use an external hard drive connector like this. You see, SSD connector. So you connect it to the drive, if you connect it to the PC, it will be like an external drive. So what you can do to it is, if your PC has an antivirus, you can what? Scan the disk to get the virus out. Okay, once the virus is out, you can copy the files, you know, that is in there into another drive. And then you can now what? Format this drive. Once you format this drive, you can connect it back to your PC and perform a fresh what installation that is one way you can do about it okay all right and so that is done so i'm going to connect the drive back to the pc so that we can do the installation and then it's properly done okay now once it's installed now you can decide to what either leave your cover up or you can put your cover on so i'm going to put my cover on so i'm really confident that it's done properly okay Screw that is at the back. Keep it tight. Now, once that is done, I have the power here. I connect it to the what? To the back. Okay. And also, I'll be using my USB for my my keyboard and my mouse. Okay. But for now, for now, what I want to do is I want to. Let's assume that um, you have you don't have what, you don't know how to make what a bootable USB. So what you're going to do is for now I do have one because I purchased this from I purchased the key okay but they gave me what a bootable as well. So I don't have to what make it again. So what I can do is 
I can use this for the installation, but I can decide to what? Make it, help you guys make a bootable USB. And you can make a bootable USB with um, so many tools, okay? You can first download the iOS and use Rufus, a software, to what? To make the bootable. The software is called Rufus. I'll put it in the description. And you can also use what? The Windows Media Creation Tool. So for example, so let me show you. So you go to the browser, Say open and type Windows. Let me make this big. You type Windows Media Creation Tool. It just came up. Okay, so you scroll down. Please download from Microsoft. Don't go to like that and that's that. I just like to download from who? Microsoft. So click on create media installation tool. Then from here, you go down software website or Windows 10 here. See Windows 10? Click on that and it's going to download the software for you. Then from here, you see create Windows media installation, you download. Okay, so download from Microsoft website. So from there, so it's going to download. So it's downloading. I'm waiting for it to finish. You open it once it's download. Then click on what? yes then the drive that you want to use to create the tool now you connect the drive to the pc so this is the an extender a usb extender for my pc so i'm going to connect my drive into it let me see what is in there before okay so honestly this one already have what I already created a bootable from it, but anyway, I'm gonna do it again. This is just for your sake, okay? So you say accept. You waiting for it? It's saying getting a few things ready. Um, so. I am not going to go through the entire process, but just know what tool to use. Rufus, or you can use what? Windows Media Creation Tool. So here it came and saying that what? Upgrade this PC now. No, you don't want to upgrade. You want to what? Create installation media. That's what you want to choose, okay? Then click on what? Next. And make sure that the selections here are what, is what you want, okay? And we want to say we are creating Windows 10. So you say next. And from here, this is where you select the USB drive, okay? So it said that USB flash drive, yes. Then next, okay. And make sure that the drive that you connected is the one that is selected. In my case, that is drive, D, drive E, and that is correct. From here, you just click on next, and the process will, what? will begin. So, but anyway, that is going to focus. We can let that run, I don't care, because I have another drive that I want to use for the what? Trading purpose, okay? But this is how you do it. So while that runs, now let's focus on this. How do we boot from the USB now? So first, I need a, a USB for my keyboard and mouse, okay? Remember, this is a new PC untouched, okay? So I'm gonna connect it. This is for my keyboard and mouse, wireless keyboard and mouse. Then also, I need what? A display. So I'm gonna use this display for that. So let me turn the focus on that now. Okay, so as you can see, we're going to connect our display, okay? Then you connect the display to the what? display port. This one has HDMI and what? Display port. So I'm going to the display port, okay? You don't need any other thing else. This is what you need. Keyboard and mouse, display and power, okay? And this is our new PC. On install, my team, just put the drive together, everything. So I'm going to connect my what? bootable USB drive that I, that came with the keys that I purchased. 
Okay? So, I connect this to the PC. All I could have used was the one that I'm creating right now. It's still in progress. We don't need it. We already have one. Okay? So, from here, let me put this away. So, I'm going to turn on the computer. And once the computer turns on, I'm going to now do what is in the shot. I will start pressing the escape key. The escape key. Once I press the power on, I will start pressing the escape key. So, let's go. One. Oh. All right. So, the main power supply is not on. So, it's off. So, let me turn it. Take this one off. Take this one off. I don't need that. So, turn on the power. Once the power is on, then I'm going to press the power and then start pressing what? Let's hit key. There you go. See? It brought what? The good options. Again. Control Alt Delete so it can restart and do the process again. Control Alt Delete it restarted. Then again Escape. Keep pressing Escape. It's Escape key, Escape key, Escape key. When you see it said boot options on here, you see you leave the Escape key and just wait for it. See, it came up. One more time. Control Alt Delete. Escape. Escape until you see what boot option on the top here, like saying active options. Just escape, 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 escape. When you see that, you just leave it and just let it be there. It's gonna come. You see, boot options from the USB. Okay, this is what I was trying to show you in the short video. So at this point, you're gonna press what I want to Windows 10. 64 bit. I'm going to press one. Enter. And installation is beginning. Just like that. Wait now. So we can begin the installation together. So we say next. Install. From here, I have a product here. This is what I purchased. Oh, actually, that is the actual key I'm showing to you guys. Um, there's nothing covering it. Oh man, I hope you guys don't steal it, okay? Don't steal my key. So, but I purchased this Windows 10 key, and you can actually, I can put the key right here from now, for now, or I can finish it and do the what? Activation, whichever one that I prefer to choose, okay. But I will skip it for now. I don't have you see, it's like I don't have a key, okay. And choose which option you want. I like to install what Windows 10 Professional. Um, I could also do any of the other Windows 10 uh, options that are here for workstations, for Pro, and all of the different options. But Windows 10 Pro is my favorite. Um, most important that allows me to connect to my domain, you know, and all the others like Pro, Education. Uh, education and all of those have um, the ability to connect to what your domain uh, so accept then what here I did upgrade I'm coming to do what custom installation I select custom installation from here and you see I have what does it say 24 gig this is possibly the USB drive 24 GB for the USB drive um, this one is the, the, the drive. The, the, always look at the size. The size is what tells you what this look for my um the disk inside is Windows. I mean the disk inside is 500 GB. So that's why it came up to uh, 441. So all I can do is I can actually delete the partition. Yep. All right, so it was the drive that was partitioned into, uh, 
the drive that I had connected it was what was partitioned into. You just delete the partition. Once you delete the partition, if you want to create new partitions, you can do it here. But I don't want to do it. What I want to do is I just say next because if I want to partition, I can partition when the system is done completely. I don't need to do it here. So I can just say next. And we're just going to wait for it to finish up whatever it's doing. And also, on the other side, you can see that the other drive that I'm making the bootable is also what? In progress. It's 66% complete. Um, so, as far as the boot process is concerned, it was the same way I did it for you guys. Just keep pressing, turn on the PC. While, the power, while you see the power light, start pressing the escape key. Start pressing it until you see what FTL boot options. If you see of FTL boot options on the right, on the right top side, just stop pressing the escape key and just wait for it. You might possibly see a pin blinking. You can just press any other key, or it gonna go right into the drive, uh, and then you just select your options and go ahead from there. Easy as that. So this is actually going pretty fast. It's only fifteen percent right now. Um, I also want to say I want to appreciate all of those of you who viewed and liked the video. Um, it's now the most watched um, video when it comes to booting from USB. So that is why I'm taking my time to make this one so that those of you who have follow-up questions or don't understand uh, or weren't able to do it correctly, you can go through the same process and see if that will actually help you out. percent so i'm going to pause the video and i'm going to continue once the installation is complete so at this point as you can see the installation is almost complete we're finishing up um and once it finished it's going to reboot so at that point you can decide to what I mean, let it reboot and you shut it down. That's just how people sell them out. Okay, they don't do the they don't do the post installation. They don't do that. They just like after this, it's a restart, and then they just shut it down and then they sell it. So the person that gets the computer perform the initial what setup and stuff like that. But this was the entire process on how to what. Um, make a media creation tool and how to boot from usb based on what i talked about on the short so i think on this note we have come to the end of the video if you like it please press the like button and leave a comment and subscribe thank you